Hello and welcome to Blockchain and Gaming World Daily with me, John Jordan. So the news we're looking at today is the announcement of the AXS token from Axie Infinity. So Axie Infinity, a kind of well-known blockchain game, been around for a couple of years now, launched its small love potion, the SLP, at the start of 2020. That is a utility token that's used for um, kind of a breeding your axes together, required for breeding axes together. Um, but the A XS token is a bit more um, kind of multifaceted, so it is a uh, broadly a governance token um, and also has some other uh, elements that we'll look at. Uh, but in terms of the kind of the function of the uh, the way that these tokens are going to be released in the beginning is through Binance Launchpad. Um, so that's a little bit of a surprise, I think. Um, Binance obviously are a centralized uh, exchange. Um, although they obviously now have things like the uh, the Binance Smart Chain and the and the uh, they have their own DEX, um, but pretty much all the liquidity in Binance is locked within this centralized server, but uh, centralized uh, exchange. But obviously uh, Binance is by far the biggest exchange, so um, in a sense it's a way of um, kind of kickstarting the kind of speculative um, element of people wanting to own your token. Uh, and we've also seen um, fairly recently the uh, Sandbox do a, do a similar. Um, launched through Binance, um, which was successful in the sense that it sold, it was massively oversubscribed, sold everything out. Um, of course, the problem tends to be is once these um, token uh, sales go live, the price spikes uh, in, in the first uh, kind of day, couple of days maybe, and then um, then tends to drop off if there's nothing for people to do, <laughs> to use it for. And that's kind of what we saw with Sandbox, that the, the price went up a lot and then has gone down since that game's not out yet. Um, and maybe with Axie Infinity, we'll see something broadly similar. The price will, um, will you know, there'll be a lot of demand around the price when it, when when Binance releases it and it goes starts fl flowing onto um, Uniswap uh, and potentially other exchanges. But the uh, the AXS token won't really be used in the game until 2021. So there is this kind of broad gap where you basically you'll be able to own the token, um, uh, and there may be some kind of yield farming things you can do with it but basically with the game won't support it for a while anyway we'll see what happens and very quickly let's run through the the, the Binance side of things so in order to uh, if you want to buy some of these you have to have an account on Binance um, you have to uh, uh, kind of basically kind of bid um, you have to you have to have the BN sorry the, the PNP sorry the BNB Binance to the Binance coin um, and you have to deposit your um, Binance coin and win tickets and then there's a lottery draw. It's all rather complicated um, to be honest <laughs> but uh, um, I haven't got a Binance account so um, I won't be getting involved um, but yeah that's the process of doing it um, and um, you can see here that there are um, the total supply of AXS is uh, 270 million um, it's almost three mi uh, so it's almost uh, sorry three million 11% of the total supply is going to be is being released um, through this uh, public sale. Um, so it's 11% of the total supply um, at a price of um, they're saying 0 0.1. I think it's actually 0 .0, 0 0.8. Oh, that's for the private sale. Okay, right, fair enough. There's two different things going on there. Um, so uh, so you know th three million uh, or so tokens. 30 million tokens, sorry, <laughs> um, from from a total supply of uh, 270 million. Um, uh, there's, there's other private sale going on as well, which is uh, gets in the way. Um, so uh, we can see here the distribution will be within 15 days. I think actually normally it comes out a bit quicker than that, actually, but um, um, that's the kind of setup. We can go and have a, a look in a bit more detail. So this is the Binance Research um, kind of paper, which basically I imagine is just taking the um, research <laughs> from the Active Infinity have given them. Um, uh, so you can see here that the main use cases for the uh, for the AXS token governance that means you uh, stake your tokens and vote in where the game goes. Um, when you stake your tokens, you'll get re weekly rewards, uh, presumably in the AXS uh, token, and um, you can use the token to um, as, a, as a currency. As a payment um, mechanic, so you can you can uh, potentially use it to, to to play games in Axie Infinity, play battles, and, and win in the in the game as well. So very quickly, Axie Infinity is a game based around these Axie NFTs that battle each other. You can also breed them to to create new axes that may have special 
um, powers or, or special abilities. And there's a land, um, uh, so there's a kind of permanent uh, kind of NFT, which is land. And that's still in the very early stages, um, but you'll be able to kind of build things on there. Um, and then the marketplace for trading land and axes and things like that. Um, so you know, it's going through, yeah, this is the kind of pricing. So they're pricing it at, at 10, 10 US cents to begin with. Um, this is just going through what's going on with Axie Infinity. So the battle system here, um, still currently in, um, I don't think it counts as alpha or beta, um, but anyway, it's, it's still it's still kind of um, uh, work in progress. The breeding is still the main element, of breeding and trading land. Um, there are uh, 90,000 uh, plots of land. Um, again, this is in the very early stages um, and then um, in future, uh, players will be able to create games um, in in uh, on the land they have. So it's a bit like the sandbox from that point of view. Um, but uh, this is a long way down down the line. So we can see where we're at the moment. We just have this this small love potion, um, which is used for breeding. But we're going to have this AXS token. Still, the small love potion will be used for breeding as well. Um, quite a lot going on with Axie Infinity. They're building their own um, uh, side chain called Ronin um, because obviously uh, there's lots of gas issues on Ethereum at the moment. Um, but still, quite a long way to go on that. I think. Um, we can see here um, how the how the token, the total uh, supply tokens are being s split off, split down. So there's 11% 11, 11 in the buy net sale. There's this private sale, 4%. Play to earn means available to the players. 29% um, for the staking rewards for people who stake the tokens. Um, team gets 21%, advisors 7%, ecosystem fund. That's to encourage people to build in there. Um, um, and they're looking to, to raise $3 million. Um, Axie Infinity is also, has actually raised VC money as well, um, so I don't think it necessarily needs tons of money, but who knows. Um, we just see a breakdown here of the uh, of, of the split. Um, the Binance is in 11 there, 11%, and we can see here there's the besting um, schedule. So the Binance 11% is available immediately, but then everyone else um, invests over time. So this goes up to 2025. Um, and the um, so the different, the different sections best at different periods of time particularly the staking rewards towards the end um, and the advisors I mean it's pretty pretty steady to get to 100% um, so again this is kind of looking at um, the flows so you have the game the game here um, and it flows the AXS token flows to the players who are involved um, ASX holders here stake into the community treasury and they uh, get re rewards back again by playing and voting and then there's a connection between the treasury and the game universe in terms of governance and um, uh, and then rev revenues from the game, a percentage of the revenues from the game are flowing into the community treasury as well. So that's the kind of the uh, the the system, um, how how they think it's going to work. A final thing to look at quickly. So here's this um, actually here's this diagram again showing the flow. Um, there's a really good or really detailed white paper. I haven't looked through it all yet. But if you, if you want to go through everything with Axie Infinity uh, and all the different elements that are in um, that are in there and which, uh, you know, the a SX token is designed to kind of bring together. That's the point of having these tokens. The tokens are not for their own. Um, you know, not, people don't create tokens just to kind of uh, make money, <laughs> although that's kind of clearly part of it. But they make tokens to kind of um, uh, create, uh, I don't know what, um, to, to create uh kind of uh, ecosystems and and flows of, of value that that mean that everyone can take part and everyone you know, so the players obviously a key part of the game that they can get rewards the original investors the team um the stakers you know that the point of a token is to is to move around and to and to uh and to hold value um that then can be reinvested in the system or if people want to you know if players want to cash out that they, they can but but um that's the point of having a, a blockchain token that's one of the key things about blockchain games and uh, this was the final bit of the white paper I was trying to click through to, but didn't go through. So this is just the infographic of, of, of what has been going on with Axie Infinity. So we can see here um, how much it's raised, um, how many, 12,000 people in Discord, 13,000 on Twitter, um, 10 to over 10,000 downloads of the, uh, that is the battling element um, that's in beta at the moment, the, the, the marketplace you can just uh, access through the web. Um, so we have seven, over 7,000 monthly active users. 12,000 wallets holding axes, although that's probably uh, an over exaggeration of the people. I mean, I've got um, a couple of different wallets with axes, but um, you know, pr it's probably about 10,000 people, I would think. Um, 
land, 17,000 land sold. There's 160,000 axes, NFTs, and the most expensive one just sold actually last week. Two of them actually sold for 200 ETH. So that's about $80,000 at current prices. So, so that's some, you know, there, there's a, a reasonable community on axes. Um, obviously, you would say still um, potentially could increase by 10 or 100 fold. Um, we'll see how that works. Obviously, that depends on how, how the game gets, get, gets built out. Um, this is just looking at what's going on. Roadmap's worth having a look at. So, um, we are looking at uh, 2020, um, we're looking at the uh, Ronin sidechain be released on a testnet. Um, some land, land gameplay be available on a closed alpha. Then 2021, um, everything will move on to the Ronin sidechain. There'll be the staking dashboard, the AXS token will be available obviously for staking there. The, the battling game will be officially released. Uh, there'll be official release of the land gameplay um, and official release of the SDK for building things. Obviously, 2021 says plus plus, so it may all not happen in 2021. Um, but uh, but uh, we will uh, uh, kind of see how that all pans out. Um, and here are some of the uh, companies invested, partners, and, and, and so, so forth. So yeah, Axie Infinity and its game I'm uh, fairly familiar with. Being, be, be, you know, I wouldn't say I played a lot of it, but uh, but I've kept up to date with it. Um, and uh, and I think you know. Probably after the, all the excitement of the of the token sale and, the, and and whether it goes up or down or whatever, you know, when, when in 2021, when, when these things, when these features that actually use the token start getting uh, start coming into play, then that'll be the um, the more interesting time. Um, but obviously, to get those into play, you have to get the token out there first. So, so um, that will uh, be good from that point of view. So, thanks for watching the video. This is Blockchain Gaming World, uh, where we spend our time looking at blockchain games. And um, if you're into that, please do subscribe to the channel. But thanks for watching the video and hope to see you again soon.